Don't let anyone hear you talk like that. That is the biggest load of rubbish I've ever heard. They'll think you're crazy. They'll think you're crazy. Dear Noni, I'm sorry that I'm unable to explain all of this over the phone, but I'm a bit weary after having been attacked by friends and family over my faith in Jesus. I couldn't take a confrontation with you because I hold you in such high regard. I'd like to give you my testimony as to how I've come to believe in Jesus so that you'll have a better understanding as to where I'm at. I haven't told you any of this up till now, as I feared a bad reaction from you. So, here is my story. Since I was very young, I always knew that Jesus was the Son of God. But with all the years of going to Mass, I never felt close to Him. Like most Catholics, I convinced myself that I wasn't a bad person and even though I was a sinner, my sins weren't so bad that God would throw me into hell. I thought I was a Christian, but I didn't really know what a Christian should be. At 28 years old, I started to search for God as I had felt an emptiness in my life. I read about the major world religions in order to see if they had any merit but I was drawn back to Christ. I thought to myself, I am a Catholic, but realized that it was ridiculous. But as a Christian, I had never read the Bible, which is the word of God. I decided to go out to the bookshop in town and buy one, which I did. I made a pact with myself that I would read it from cover to cover at least once before I died. I was sure that it would be such a difficult book to read and understand, as I was convinced after years as a Catholic that only theologians were capable of understanding it. Every night when I went to bed, I read from the Bible. As I read, I got an incredible desire to find out more and for the first time in my life I really began to learn about God and what he wanted from me. Slowly, it began to change my life for the better. I continued to read daily the word of God. At that time, no major change had taken place in me. It wasn't until seven years later, at the age of 35, That's the year that Eamon was born. When he was a few weeks old, he developed very severe skin rashes. He had the appearance of someone that had boiling water poured on him. As a result, we were completely exhausted. It 
It was during this time that I developed an unbearable pain in my stomach. It would come on every day and last for hours. The pain was so severe that I would end up rocking and moaning with the pain. One day while suffering this pain, I started to call out in anguish to God. In floods of tears, I asked his forgiveness. For the first time, I realized that I could die tomorrow and the time to repent for my sins was now. I asked Jesus to take control of my life and to show me the way. In that moment, my eyes were opened completely to my sin. Within hours of this, I began to get intense recollections regarding things that I had done wrong in the past. I knew that it was not enough that I was sorry. I had to try to undo the wrongs that I had done. So I committed myself to doing that. I searched for the people that I had wronged and over a period of about a year, I made contact with each of them and I begged their forgiveness. Every time, I felt an immense weight being lifted from my shoulders. What I had stolen, I returned. I stopped speaking evil and blaspheming. I started to live a life which was pleasing to God, and I started to be guided by His Spirit. I knew that the blood of Jesus had washed me clean of all my sins. I knew that I had been a sinner, but my faith in Jesus had saved me. I knew that fateful day was a new beginning in my life. As the scriptures say, I was born again in the Spirit. Now at that time and for years later, I did not know anyone who had the same experiences as me or had real faith in Jesus. And if I attempted to relate my story to anyone, including my own family, I was met with a torrent of abuse and ridicule. I was told to shut up. If we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Don't let anyone hear you talk like that. They'll think you're crazy. It wasn't until around five years later that I met with some Bible believing Christians who had similar experiences to me and whose faith in Jesus was the same as mine. I was over the moon to know that I was not alone. I attended a few prayer meetings, and although I was very wary of them at first, I was blown away by the sincerity of their faith and the way in which they worshipped God. The more I studied the Bible, the more I realized truths I had never known. And now, to get to the reason for me making this detailed expression of my faith to you. I have asked a Christian friend if he would please baptize me in the name of Jesus. He has kindly agreed. I had thought deeply about this for a long time and had originally considered it unnecessary as I had been baptized as a child. However, in the last six months or so, I have felt the Spirit of God moving me to this and I realized that this time is very different and that unlike my first baptism, when I had no mind of my own. On this occasion, I am making a public declaration that I am following Jesus as a mature adult. I know this will cause a lot of distress to members of my family. And this amazes me since when quizzed, they do not in fact believe in Jesus at all, but continue to attend mass simply as a tradition. I hope this letter does not cause you similar distress. Maybe it will increase your faith in Jesus. I've always deeply admired your sacrifice for God. It has inspired me to search for him, and by God's grace, I have found him. Noni, God bless you and keep you, and I pray that he will open the eyes of your heart so that you will understand.